Uh, look wherever you want, Lucas. You're the winner, so you, you get to do whatever you want, my man. So how are you feeling after that performance? Amazing, man. Worked so hard to be here. Can't believe it. Got my first win in UFC after coming from a loss so quickly and have the time to, to show who I am. But I'm so happy, man. I have no words. Yeah. It was, it was a pretty dominant showing. Um, he was tough, man. D did you Were you expecting that from him? Like, it's going to be hard to finish this guy, get him out of there? It's funny, I was visualized the whole time, like try finishing him, and my coach keep telling me the whole camp, man, he's gonna be there, you know, he's gonna keep coming forward, and as soon as the fight start, and I keep landing my punch, and he keep coming forward, I start to like, all right, cool, I need to be patient, take my time, and that's it. And the performance itself, are you happy with how you felt in there, how you performed, everything about it? Yeah, man, of course I'm happy, you know, uh, the past eight weeks, my coach put me through hell, you know, Try taking my soul off my you know, camp, wrestling, you know, uh, conditioning workout, pad workout, sparring, try push, try take the best of me. So I'm so happy with my performance. Definitely, um, I have to go back and watch because I know I did a couple of things wrong, like we always do it, but uh, I'm so happy with my, my victory. Yeah, and uh, you mentioned you had a loss there in your UFC debut, so you came back here, got a victory. Uh, how much pressure did you have on, on you because, you know, I mean, you know, 2 two oh and 2 in the UFC, that could put you in a bad spot, right? How much pressure did you have entering this fight? Honestly, man, when I'm spinning, man, I have no pressure, you know. Uh, I was so happy the whole time. You could probably see I was just smile, you know, walking through the lights, see the many people coming from Brazil, coming from nothing, you know. I, being here fighting for 15,000 people as a blessing. So I took the pressure off and just tried to be me, and I did it. That's why I got the dub. And you mentioned, um, you know, about your friend um, who, who had passed away. When, w when did that happen? So um, he got a, an emergency surgery on a Tuesday. And Wednesday morning, we got, we got the news. Um, he passed away and uh, he left three kids. as an amazing person. Let's, uh, left his wife as well. Um, he was a law enforcement, squad team. He been training for my coach for probably eight years, you know. Uh, as soon as I got here four and a half years ago, he always been my size. It literally on a Sunday, he texted me, you know. Um, when I got here, um, no, sorry, one Monday before I left, he texted me as well, talking about the fight. He, he had a fight schedule as well, and we was talking about the fight. But the whole time, um, we trained together, you know. We, he always trying to uh, make sure I believe in myself. He keep texting me. The, he used to text me the whole time. But uh, was we we tried avoid thinking about, but it was really hard, you know. Every time we sitting to eat or do something, we talking about a little bit here there. But we we all was in focus as well for this fight. We know how important it is, but I could not get the dub and don't shot him out because I know I made him proud today. Yeah, yeah, and sorry for your loss. I can tell that he was a, a really important person in your life just by the way you're talking about him appreciate it, brother. that was a really nice shot that you gave you used your post-fight interview you know a lot of people you know do the 50 g's or to try to put themselves over and you use that time to uh, help the best or the most that you can to his family um, what was going on through through your mind at that point man um someone learned um on an interview this week they asked me about who i'm a fan you know uh who i look when i watch fights my favorite fighter and I always tell people, man, um, the people that struggle with me every single day in the gym, I'm a fan of them. You know, my friends, I'm a fan of them because I see how much they they have to give up to go work and train, you know. All these people who's a champion, uh, who's top five, top ten, I like them. I mean, fuck with them. But I don't, I don't see what they go through, you know, day, day by day. And I know Mikey, he go through a lot, you know. Like last year in October, was his first time back in the gym after two years of training. And dude, I'm talking about a guy who's a black belt in jiu-jitsu, amazing wrestler, amazing striker, you know, give you help to everyone at the gym as a trainer, you know? So um, the only thing I probably could do for him right now, you know, uh, show some love, show how much we will miss him. And he, he can rest peace because we, we're gonna be fine, but we still miss him. I know this is obviously all very tough, but um, in, in a way, did this whole unfortunate circumstance give you any purpose during fight week to, 
you know, get the dub, as you mentioned, get the victory and, and be able to have that post-fight interview and be able to, you know, shout his name and, and, and kind of uh, pay, pay him a tribute. Yeah, the whole time I want that, you know, I, I want to shout him out. But I was trying to overthink about it because I feel I bring the pressure of I need the win just to shout him out. You know what I'm saying? Because I need the win because we work hard every single day, but I don't want to get attached to just like, oh, I, I need to get the win because I need to shout him out. No, if I was lost, I still going to shout him out. I was still going to post in my IG. I'm going to still post in my Facebook and tell people about him. So I was glad. God gave me the opportunity to shout him out on the phone, uh, all these people, and um, showing him how much we love him. But, um, yeah, man, I have no words. Yeah. Um, I, I want to give you the opportunity. I know you did it as well inside of the cage, but if you want to you know, plug in that uh, GoFundMe, very unfortunate situation. Yeah, of course. In my IG, Lucas Alexander, uh, UFC, you can find him, uh, his GoFundMe. And, guys, uh, generosity... It can be anything, you know. It can be one dollar. It can be uh, ten thousand dollars. Doesn't matter how much you give. You know, what matters it's what you feeling when you give. If you wanna help, so if you feel in your heart, don't feel obligation because I know it's a really, really sad situation. But if you feel in your heart and you think it's a good thing and you're gonna help someone, do it. You know, I really appreciate you, uh, appreciate your family, and I hope it, uh, God bless you and double. Well, Lucas, I appreciate the time, and uh, congrats on the win, and sorry for your loss again. Thanks so much, bud. I really appreciate it. Um, you've been in the fight game for a minute. Um, you got a victory today. Did you ever envision your life to turn out so great? Nope. <laughs> Not at all, brother. Um, you train in uh, Fusion you know, in Orlando, and uh, I see a lot of you guys coming up, winning on a big, on a big stage. Have you feel like as a team you guys arrived or are, are you still climbing up as a team? No, we've been arrived like, what, three years ago, brother. We've been here this whole game, you know. My coach been training Mike Perry for a long time, you know, uh, training Alex. And now we have Phil, Mike Davis, you know, Rodolfo Vieira. He coined Jacare Souza, you know, a couple times as well. He's been for the past four years training, five years training Fusion. We've been here this whole time, but... We're going to keep coming up, you know. Um, you saw me today. I have, like, seven more guys at the gym better than me. You know, Jeremiah, Val, you know, all the 7 and 0, 6 and 0. They're going to be here soon. Bubba, Jake was right there. They're going to be here soon, and you're going to see again another Fusion XL. Yes, sir. Congrats on the win. Thank you, brother. Appreciate it.